Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, it's kind of a follow-up to the last one that I did for Need for Speed 2, the special edition. That one ran under Glide. There's a lot of people uh, that are having issues with it under Glide. It'll give them a black screen. So there is an alternative to be able to play it. Uh, it'll pl play in software mode, so it won't look as good, but you can still play it. And uh, you can still use it with the uh, shader glass program if you want to go ahead and give it a retro look with that. So if you guys have any issues and want to try this alternate, uh, you know, route, go ahead and open up our browsers. We're going to go to this spot right here. This link will be in the description. Go, go ahead over here to where it says latest, download that version, put that on your computer. And once you're done, that is it. Now, keep in mind, you are going to need the special edition version of the uh, game if you have the original one it will not work so make sure you have need for speed 2 special edition uh you're either going to need the original disc itself or an iso image of it i have an iso image loaded here so basically just follow low you know what you see on the screen and you should be good to go so i have a folder on the right side where the game is going to go and then the folder on the left has the uh, need for speed uh, disk in there so what we're going to do is click on that and you're going to go ahead and copy two folders out of here so you want to make sure you get this one fe data and game data just copy both of those and we're going to drag and drop those or paste them into the folder over here on the right side that'll take a few seconds to complete once that's done we're going to copy some files from the uh, zip file that we downloaded all right, so here's a folder. Once you have that folder set up, what you're gonna do is take every single file from there, just copy those, and we're gonna paste that on the right side. Now, before we launch this, we do need to make some changes to the uh, .exe file. So right-click on that, go to Properties, and then we're gonna hit on Compatibility. You wanna make sure you have XP Service Pack 2, and then the uh, check mark up here to run it. You want to disable full screen optimizations, run this program as administrator. Then there's one more for the people that are having issues with the uh, joystick settings not saving. This for some odd reason uh, seems to fix it. So what you want to do is go up here, check, use this setting to fix scaling problems. We're going to click on open advanced scaling and you want to make sure that this is off. And then once you have that done, go ahead and just close that window out. Close this one and you should be ready to launch the game. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot and see if everything works. So as you can see, the movie loaded up fine. Then we're going to go in here. What we want to do is set up the uh, joystick in the video settings. So go to graphics. It's going to default to this, but you want this to be set to full. Image quality, the best for the software is at high. View distance full. Or far and then horizon you want on go ahead and click that and then go to controls setup if you have a joystick you're gonna set that up right here so just you know pick whatever settings that you're comfortable with once that's done go ahead and click done click done and I'm gonna launch this just to make sure that the uh, settings took effect we're going to close it and then launch it again to make sure that the settings were saved Three, two, one, go. so as you can see the settings are working fine for the joystick so now what we're going to do is close the game jump back in and make sure that the settings were saved Bypass the movie. And you can just go ahead and start a race right off the bat and we'll see if the settings were saved. There you go. So that's how you play this with, you know, and get it working with the joystick without having any issues. So hopefully if you guys weren't able to get it to work with the, uh, you know, the 3D glide program you're able to make it work like this as an alternative so that is it for the video if you guys make use of the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so and we will catch you guys on the next video have a good one